All right, y'all. So let's get a weekly roundup of some of the news from the past couple of days. And I do have another one where I'll talk about the news from today. So I want to do one where I talk weekly roundups and I want to do one where I talk about daily or every two days. We'll see. But let's get into it. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Let's get to 33,000 subscribers today, but 35,000 by the end of the month. Not too much to ask, right? But let's start off with the new Leica Studios film, Wildwood, which was a very interesting one, right? So Wildwood is written by Chris Butler, who did Paranorman, Coraline, Missing Link, and it is based on a novel from Colin Malloy, who is a lead singer and songwriter for The Decemberist. I haven't heard about The Decemberist in a while. That took me back, honestly. So in the film, Beyond Portland City Limits lies Wildwood. You're not supposed to go there. You're not even supposed to know it exists. But Prue McKeel is about to enter this enchanted wonderland. Her baby brother, Mac, has been taken by a murder of crows into the forest depths. And she, along with her hapless classmate, Curtis, is going to get him back. Prue might think she's too old for fairy tales, but she's just found herself at the center of one. Filled with strange talking animals, roguish bandits, and powerful figures with the darkest intentions. So they're saying that the film is sort of a tale of love, sacrifice, loss, and secrets, and of the magic you can find on your doorstep if you're willing to look for it. So this is directed by the director of Cubo and the Two Strings and Bumblebee Travis Knight. I'm seated. I'm there because I enjoy both of those movies. So this is what Knight had to say to to variety. With Wildwood, I have the opportunity to tell a madly ambitious story of magic, wonder, and danger set in the place I grew up. My very own Portland will join that pantheon of unforgettable fantasy realms with a steering epic that will kindle imaginations, lift spirits, and break hearts. Colin and Carson's novel is a lyrical work of art. The entire Laika family is fully committed to honoring it with a film of breathtaking spectacle and aching beauty. I can't wait to share it with the world, although we're doing it this in stop motion, so you know, I'll have to. So the voice cast includes Peyton Elizabeth Lee, Carrie Mulligan, Maharshala Ali, Jacob Tremblay, Aquafina, Angela Bassett, Jake Johnson, Harley Day, Amanda Stenberg, Jermaine Clement, Tom Waits, and Richard E. Grant. Very excited for this one. The trailer looks very good as well. So let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. But we just got some new images for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which is looking like we are definitely going to get this big movie we've all been anticipating for years. I really love the practical effects here as well as the very like touching moments that are going to be in this movie you can see from some of these right here and you know we're anticipating this movie i believe there's some new um scenes that have been released and all that i'm not gonna watch those because i just want to go into this blank i want as much surprises and all of that from this movie and i've been anticipating it for some time here's a movie we're anticipating is apartment 7a as well this is a prequel to rosemary's baby they just released a poster for it and it will actually be premiering at fantastic fest which we will try to watch this movie there so this is going to be a movie that says when a struggling young dancer who is played by julia garner suffers a devastating injury she finds herself drawn in by dark forces when a peculiar well-connected older couple promises her a shot of fame this is from director natalie erica james who did relic which i tell you watch that movie if you can it was one of those movies i watched back in 2020 and i was just in tears with that one very good film right there so the plot synopsis says dancer terry juanofrio dreams of fame and fortune in new york city but after suffering a devastating injury an older couple welcomes her into her home in the luxury apartment building, the Bramford. When fellow residents and influential Broadway producer offers her another chance at fame, it seems that all her dreams are finally coming true. However, after an evening she can't fully remember, disturbing circumstances soon have her second guessing the sacrifices she's willing to make for her career as she realizes that something evil is living not only in apartment 7A, but the Bramford itself. So we're definitely excited for this film and cannot wait to see what what James has delivered. We don't have a teaser or anything. We could probably expect that sometime before the end of the month. But so far, I'm digging it. The pictures and all, we've already discussed them. Well, we're, we're here. We're here. So let's talk about this other piece of news right here, which is that Camila Mendes has been cast as Tila in the upcoming Masters of the Universe movie. Nicholas Galitzinas, who was in The Idea of You, will actually be playing He-Man in this. And Masters of the Universe is set for a June 5th, 2026 release date with Travis Knight directing. I am here. Bumblebee director. I mean, let's go, right? So this is a film that we're excited for. We used to watch He-Man back in the day. And, you know, we'll see what happens. We don't know much more about anything of this movie. So I don't want to give many things, but 
We'll see. We'll see. Air Fire 3 is going to have its world premiere Fantastic Fest on opening night. The film will then go to theaters October 11th. They are promising this is going to be the goriest film in the franchise, which I'm just wondering what are we about to get because that bedroom scene, crazy as you can get, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll be definitely surprised with this one. You do have Lauren Levera returning as well as Samantha Scafidi, Elliot Fulham, Chris Jericho, and the actor David Dorden will be playing Art the Clown once again as he pretty much Rex have it on Christmas, but very excited to see what they're going to bring that. Again, Fantastic Fest. Here's some of the films that we're very excited for. One of them being the new VHS entry, which is VHS Beyond. You also have the new film with Halle Berry with the director, of course, of Crawl and also High Tension, Alexandra Aja, which is called Never Let Go. And one of the closing night films is going to be Mr. Crockett, which is a new Hulu film, which just sounds interesting. Like, y'all, listen to this. Elvis Nolasco, a diabolical children's TV show host and a mother who will stop at nothing to protect her son, played by Jerrica Hinton. That just sounds great. A deeply emotional slasher. That's what I'm reading right here. So there's a ton of other movies we're excited for Fantastic Fest. That's going to be its whole other video probably at the end of the week as we get a little bit closer to the one month from that festival. So we'll talk more about that. But those are just some of the big movies that are going to be there. So stay tuned for more. Another thing that we're excited for in September is the new Ryan Murphy horror series, which is about a serial killer called Grotesquerie. So it says it's like a hole opened up in the world to the center of nothingness. That's what Ryan Murphy, who is the executive producer, says about this new FX series. Grotesquerie will premiere September 25th on FX with next day on Hulu. That's usually how they do it. There is a teaser you can check out right now, which I think it looks very good. The 10 episode drama series follows a series of heinous crimes that have have unsettled a small community. In it, we see Detective Lois Trine feels that the crimes are very personal as if something is trying to taunt her. At home, she grapples with a strained relationship with her daughter, a husband in long-term hospital care, and her own inner demons. So we're excited to see what this one's going to be. A lot of nun imagery for sure. And I'm always up for these kind of things. So there is a new trailer for The Substance. I already broke it down if you want to go check it out. And I just recently watched Revenge from Coralie Forget. Stay tuned for my thoughts on that because I definitely got a lot of thoughts on that. So very excited to talk more about The Substance as well when we get a chance to watch it later this year. There is a trailer for Sleep as well. This is a film we watched at South by Southwest last year. I'm telling you, South by Southwest always releases some pretty great stuff that ultimately takes a bit to come out. But once you see it, you're going to be loving it. So Sleep follows newlyweds Hyun Su and Su Jin, whose domestic bliss is interrupted when He Su begins sleepwalking in his sleep. And he is ominously stating someone's inside. From that night on, whenever he falls asleep, Hyun Su transforms into someone else with no recollection of what happened the night before. Overwhelmed with anxiety that he may hurt himself or their young family, Su Jin can barely sleep because of this irrational fear. Despite treatment, Hin Su's sleepwalking only intensifies and Su Jin begins to feel that her unborn child may be in danger. Jason Yu wrote and directed the film and he has collaborated with Bong Joon-ho before in the past. So we're definitely excited to see this film again. It's been a whole year since we watched it and we definitely are ready for more. So The Crow is opening up this week and we still don't know where everybody stands with it i don't know when they're going to release reactions and reviews for this but you know I, I i don't know i'm excited for it in a way because i really enjoy bill skarsgård and i'm just curious to see what they want to do with the crow not too fun with a lot of the other things in this film but we'll see we'll see let me know are you going to be watching the crow or not so teacup just got another teaser and this is the latest executive produced james wan show the showrunner is Ian McCulloch, who did Yellowstone, which makes me think that there's something cohesive here for sure. EO Katz is actually doing the first two episodes. And EO Katz, I think, has some very interesting uh, choices when it comes to directing. So I'm kind of excited about that. Follows a group of people on a ranch who must come together in the face of a mysterious threat in order to survive. And that's all we see right here. I will definitely be uh, watching this. I believe it should be coming out in October. So let me know. Are you going to be watching Teacup or not? 
The Front Room just got a new trailer. This is the new film from the Eggers brothers, of course, being Robert Eggers brothers from A24 as well, with Brandy starring in this. And this new teaser is a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun and not as dark as the other one, which I think this is the direction the movie should be be teased as because it definitely makes you more excited for this. A newly young pregnant couple is forced to take in an ailing stepmother who has long been estranged from the family. And you know, that's all we know. I'm excited though. However, Strange Darling will be coming out this weekend. There is a trailer for it, but I implore you don't watch a trailer. Just get into this movie not knowing much and you are going to love it. Trust me. Trust me on that. So here's something that's very interesting as well to me is that Lakeith Stanfield has been apparently in talks to join Jennifer Lawrence in a new psychological thriller called Die My Love alongside Robert Pattinson, which is directed by Lynn Ramsey, who did the film We Need to Talk About Kevin, as well as You Were Never Really Here. So I'm definitely on board with this. It says, set in a remote forgotten rural area, the, fo the story follows a mother who struggles to maintain her sanity as she battles with psychosis. I'm excited about this one. I really enjoy Lynn Ramsey as a director. I think she brings an interesting flair to what she does. And and I'm excited to see what she's going to do next with this film. And it's a pretty great cast, honestly, already if Lakeith ends up joining the cast as well. So we'll see what happens with that. But very excited for all of the things we talked about. Let me know what you think about all of these new series, these new movies that are coming our way this fall, as well as some of the things that have been announced for later on in the coming years. What are you most excited for? I definitely am ready to see Grotesquery and Teacup, but we will have another news video with some of the big news from today as well, including Azrael, Alien Romulus is opening numbers and all of that. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. This is just a recap of the news from last week. So make sure you are subscribed and all that good stuff. I'll see all of you next time. As always, follow us on our website, www.culturelixer.com, as well as our Instagram at It's Culture Elixir. Stay safe, stay positive.